this view. This is where Audrey and I did our engagement photo shoot. <laughs> What's up, you guys? guys? And welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, I'm Audrey. And I am Hui. And if you didn't know already, we are actually from Seattle. And between the both of us, we have lived here for over 15 years. So we like to think that we know this area, this state pretty well. Because of that, we are starting a series and we are gonna show you all of our favorite places to eat, places to visit, and more. So make sure that you subscribe to follow along. And for today's video, we are highlighting the North Cascade, which is one of the least visited national park in the US. And to be honest, we don't know why. Why? Because this place is beautiful and we can't wait to show you guys why this is one of our favorite places here in Washington. guys that was a three hour drive and we are now at the first stop which is the Washington Pass Overlook however we are here at the end of May and the road to the viewpoint is still closed so we are hiking our way up it is about a 0.7 miles high so let's see how long it will take us to get there When we left this morning, it was about 65 degrees in Seattle and now it is about 34 degrees up here. So make sure you check the weather before you leave. And it's kind of weird seeing snow in May to be honest with you guys. Also quite cool as well. I hope you guys can see this on the camera, but it is actually snowing right now. It is such a vibe. My mom has actually never really experienced snow before, so she's actually really enjoying it right now. We are now hiking in the snow. Wow, this view is amazing. After about a 15 minute walk, you are greeted with this amazing view of the Liberty Bell Mountain. to capture the scale of these mountains and how dramatic it is because it is so cool. And now we are on our way back to the car to go to our next stop. And welcome to the Diablo Lake Overlook. This is where Audrey and I did our engagement photo shoot and you can see why, right? The mountain in the background with the turquoise water of the lake make for an epic photo. So next to the toilets, there's a little walkway you can go down to, to go to like the ledge that doesn't have the railing, but just make sure that you be careful because there's nothing to protect you from falling. But the view from here is even better because there's no railing. We spent about 25 minutes here uh, enjoying the view, taking some photo, but now we have worked up an appetite. We're hungry. We're gonna head to our next spot to have lunch there. So see you there. All right, this is the perfect spot for lunch. We are at the Colonial Creek Campground Picnic Day Use Area. We are all sitting here patiently trying to wait for this water to boil. One eternity later. So this picnic area is about five minute drive down from the Diablo Lake overlook and it is as equally as beautiful because it gives you a different perspective, different view of the lake and we might have to come back here when it's warmer so that we can go paddleboard. 
And another fun fact for you guys is right behind me in this spot right here is where we also took some photo for our engagement photo shoot. So we're gonna insert right here. Now that we have some extra energy from lunch, we are at our very first mini high slash walk of the day, Gorge Overlook Trail. This is a half a mile paved walk to a viewpoint, so let's go. This walk is really easy. We have seen so many kids and it's basically just a loop. You know, you get some really good viewpoint. You see some waterfall, the view of the gorge lake. Overall, it's really fun and easy. And now it's raining, so we're gonna hurry up to go to our next spot. Hopefully it stops raining when we get there. All right, guys, we are now at the gorge power plant. It is a hydro power electric plant that was built in 1924 and it harnessed the power of the Skagit River to produce some electricity, even for the city of Seattle. The bridge behind me was built in 19. So that the service vehicle can go in there to bring the material to the power plant So right behind or next to the dam There is this suspension bridge that actually leads to the Ladder Creek Trail But we are not gonna go through the trail because it is actually raining really hard But we did want to show you the bridge so Let's walk through the bridge Wow, it's kind of scary Look over here, blue sky, and over here, it's where all the rain cloud is. Five minutes later, the rain actually stopped and we drove one minute down the road to our last stop of the day, which is Trail of the Cedars. Let's go. We are now under the bridge. Wow. Is the water cold? Yeah. Wow, this is like ice water. Crazy being photographer, almost going into the water. <laughs> this is so peaceful. Yeah, it's really nice. Yeah. If it was warmer, like they have like a, like a sand, sand and then you could just like go into the water right here. So nice. Love this spot. Also, if you're wondering, I did change my outfit. So yeah, you know, that's the life of a content creator. You change your outfits so it looks like a different day. <laughs> At least for photos, you know, but time to go walk around. We are now continuing on to this trail. It almost feel like we are in a rainforest because you can see moss everywhere building up on all the branches. Wow. I don't know why people don't go here more often. All right guys, that was a super quick visit to the Trail of Cedars. Technically there was a loop, but we didn't feel like doing it, but it was a very nice scenic walk. But with that, this concludes our time here at North Cascades National Park. If you guys have any questions for us, let us know in the comments down below. But we're gonna end this video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give it a thumbs up, comment down below and hit that subscribe button. And last but not least, don't forget to keep winning, winning at, at lives. See you next video. Bye. Bye.